welcome to ATCM the emergency medicine channel today we'll be discussing about the basics of mechanical ventilation so this is going to be the first video of a series of videos that will be later uploaded in our channel on a mechanical ventilation so today we'll be discussing about the indications of mechanical ventilation so you all know like a mechanical ventilator so it basically takes care of the ventilation aspect that is it helps in functioning like uh, the uh, respiratory system so it basically takes over the ventilation and the oxygenation part of the body mechanics is taken over by the mechanical ventilator so where all we use the mechanical ventilator or what are the indications of the mechanical ventilation so first thing is basically when the patient is having an acute ventilatory failure that is the patient is not able or the patient's body or the respiratory system is not able to push out the carbon dioxide produced in the body so there, there is no adequate ventilation that is happening so in such conditions where the patient is having a ventilatory failure we goes for mechanical ventilation so this can be seen in conditions like uh, copd or severe respiratory fatigue following like increased work of breathing or it can be seen in conditions like pneumonia all these conditions where the patient can't breathe out to wash out the carbon dioxide leading to a ventilatory failure then second indication it can be seen in like oxygenation failure condition or severe hypoxemia conditions so we can use a mechanical ventilator to improve the oxygenation of the patient so it is mostly seen in conditions like ARDS pneumonia acute lung injury or like carbon monoxide poisoning these conditions where the oxygenation gets hampered that is the uh, there is severe hypoxia in such conditions we will use the mechanical ventilator to overcome the oxygenation failure so another condition is when the patient is having increased work of breathing so patient is having some lung parenchymal disorder or patient is having some severe uh, respiratory distress uh, or conditions like pulmonary edema where the patient is becoming in a respiratory distress and patient is having an increased work of breathing to maintain the minute ventilation such that following a span of time where the patient has increased work of breathing patient will go into a respiratory fatigue leading to respiratory acidosis and the respiratory failure so in such conditions we should earlier anticipate such a respiratory failure and go for a prophylactic mechanical ventilation another condition is where the lung or the airway is injured and we want to give a time for the lung or the airway to heal so in such conditions we will have to, when there is a lung or the airway trauma we will have to give a healing time for the natural healing to happen so in such condition we use the help of a mechanical ventilation another situation is where the patient is having a low uh, gcs or a low sensorium where the patient is unable to maintain the airway on themselves so in such conditions we will use a mechanical ventilation because the patient is not able to maintain his or her airway on themselves such conditions we will go for a mechanical ventilation so these are the like most commonly seen situations in uh, like emergency department or in a critical care icu where we'll go for a mechanical ventilation that is uh, any parenchymal disorders or any uh, lung disorders leading to a ventilation failure that is there is a carbon dioxide build up leading to a respiratory acidosis or conditions with a uh, oxygenation failure leading to a hypoxemia or conditions where the patient is in a respiratory distress or the uh, conditions where the patient is not able to maintain the uh, airway that is in conditions like uh, head trauma uh, or any neurological disorders or uh, conditions uh, like severe hypotension where there is a reduced cerebral perfusion leading to a reduced sensorium or some toxicological syndromes all these conditions like a uh, benzodiazepine overdose or sedative overdose all these conditions where the uh, neurological status of the patient is not helping them to maintain the airway so in such conditions we will go for mechanical ventilation and in conditions like a uh, cardiopulmonary arrest if the patient is going into a cardiac arrest we will have to secure the airway uh, to uh, prevent the hypoxia so these and connect the patient to mechanical ventilator so these are the basic indications of mechanical ventilation 
So I hope like you all have got an idea about the basic indications of mechanical ventilation. And in the further videos, we'll be discussing more about the other basic ideas on mechanical ventilation. Thank you.